Hello and welcome to my channel where I share with you my top tips on how to look good, feel good, and smell good from the inside out. My name is Nani and in today's video we are talking all about smelling good. So I want to go ahead and do something a little bit different. I want to go ahead and share with you guys just kind of a comparison video. As you guys can tell by the title, we're going to be comparison. Oh, we're going to be comparison. We are going to be comparing two very popular celebrity fragrances. The comparison is going to be between these two babies right here. So this is going to be Sean John's Unforgivable and this is Jay-Z's Gold. So I wanna go ahead and talk to you guys about what they smell like, how they last on the skin, how long they last, what are the fragrance notes, just to give you a little bit more of an understanding of what these fragrances actually smell like to help you to decide if you want to purchase either one of them. And I will also let you know which one I would recommend in the end. Now, of course, I will make sure to answer as much information as possible in regards to these fragrances, but I will also include the links for both of these fragrances down in the description box in case you guys are interested in purchasing them and putting them and adding them to your collection, I should say. And of course, if you guys love fragrance videos and you love talking about smelling good, definitely make sure that you guys give me a big thumbs up and of course make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel for more I do want to give you guys as much information as possible about both of these fragrances so let's go ahead and jump right into it so of course I am going to be talking about both of these fragrances separately at first and then at the end I will make sure to let you know which one I would recommend for you but we're gonna go ahead and start off with Sean John's unforgivable fragrance in terms of this scent, of course, this is a celebrity fragrance. It's very inexpensive. You can find these pretty much at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. And if you decide to purchase it online, you can still get it for a very reasonable price. The uh, size, I think, goes up to like a 4.2 ounce. I actually have one of my subscribers who texts, um, who texted me who wrote me a comment under one of my videos where I talked about this fragrance and they said that they actually found it at Marshall's or Ross or something like that for like 30 bucks so thank you for that subscriber that actually um, sent me that comment I really appreciate you guys you know basically sharing that information especially because of the fact that he also did say that he really enjoyed the way that it smelled so thank you so much for that but again like I mentioned you guys can find it for a very reasonable price and I think the one that he found was 4.2 ounces for like 30 bucks which is very inexpensive especially for that size these fragrances are definitely going to last you a good minute in your collection but again jumping into what this actually smells like the notes in here are birch leaf it has green mandarin it has juniper berry it has lavender i believe i think so and it also does have tonka bean as well so as far as the notes it definitely is something that sounds especially if you know fragrance notes it definitely is something that sounds like it would be a very easy wearable type of scent and it actually really is this scent is very unique to me though i feel like although it's a very cheap celebrity scent and it also does have very kind of like lightweight fragrance notes in it this is still a very masculine very sexy scent and i think that it's definitely from the tonka bean i absolutely love when tonka bean are in fragrances whether it's for a man's fragrance or a woman's fragrance just because tonka bean has like a kind of like caramelic vanillic type of overtone so a lot of times it just makes the the fragrance a little bit more sensual a little bit more seductive a little bit sexier very like creamy and rich so i just love the intensity of that as well in the dry down when you first spray it and i'll actually this is the wrong cap so if it doesn't spray right don't yeah it shrinks okay So yes, yeah, so definitely in the opening you get more of the citrus. So it's a very kind of like punch in the face type of citrus, not like in a bad way, but you definitely get more of the birch leaf, you get the green mandarin in the opening for sure. So it's a very citrusy, very inviting, very welcoming type of scent. But when it starts to dry down on your body, you definitely get a little bit more of the warm coziness from like the lavender notes as well as the uh, tonka bean in it. And as I mentioned, tonka bean has a very vanilla type of um, overtone so it makes it a little bit richer a little bit creamier a little bit more sensual but still having and keeping its masculinity what i like is that this scent is actually smells even though it gets a little bit richer as it dries down on your skin it doesn't get like a deep rich scent like an oriental so it still keeps its freshness which makes it very versatile to me so i feel like this is definitely one of those scents that you can wear year round I like the versatility of that because I feel like you definitely get more bang for your buck because you can wear it regardless of the time of the day. So I really do like that about this set. I think this, I can probably compare it to 
not that it smells the same but i feel like the vibe that it gives me is versace eau fresh if you guys saw that review i did do a complete exclusive review on that which i'll have the card pop out here but i feel like it kind of gives me that same vibe where it just gives you this beautiful fresh opening but it's still very masculine it has like a little bit of like a soapy smell it just gets a little bit more masculine as the time continues so i really like that it doesn't smell like versace or fresh vibe at all but it just gives me that same type of vibe it's definitely not offensive it's not an overly complex type of scent and it does have a nice little scent bubble as well it's very kind of like um it doesn't have like a huge scent trail at all honestly it kind of sits pretty close to the skin so it does give you a nice little scent bubble which means that if you are using this for like date night or cuddle love type of thing the woman will definitely like and enjoy it because it's a very kind of like refreshing but still warm and intoxicating type of scent so you'll still get compliments on it as well it definitely still has a decent longevity you'll probably get anywhere from like five to six hours from this fragrance which i feel like is pretty good because there are some fragrances that are extreme like more expensive than this one that don't really last on the skin at all so you'll still get a pretty decent longevity on this scent and as i mentioned it's very versatile so whether you are running errands or you are looking to go to date night or cuddle up with someone or even if you are trying to basically transition this fragrance from day to tonight this would still be a really great scent for you to opt for as well and it's very inexpensive as i mentioned before so that's going to be pretty much my two cents on this one so we're going to go ahead and switch over and talk about the jay-z gold okay so again this is going to be the jay-z gold's packaging i didn't talk about the package for the other one just because i feel like nobody really cares about that but i do like the package for this i um it's basically like a white bottle it's not white anymore because my husband has had this for a while uh, but it's basically kind of like an off-white type of bottle and it has gold words hence it's called gold and it has a gold cap as well so i do like the packaging i think that it's very appealing on the on like your dresser and things like that but i believe this is the three ounce bottle this is also very inexpensive obviously it's a celebrity fragrance the only thing is that i find the unforgivable fragrance at marshall's and stuff like that or ross all the time but i don't really see this a lot at like those stores so i feel like you might have to end up purchasing this fragrance online which isn't a huge deal because nowadays a lot of the shipping is pretty quick and you can always pay for faster shipping but this is also a very inexpensive scent as well i feel like online i saw it and it was like 35 dollars or so so that's a really great price for this size especially um, in terms of what's in it this has ginger grapefruit it has blueberry i believe it also has cardamom as well and it also has lavender as well as vetiver notes in it as well so i feel like the notes in here to me when i when i read the notes i thought that it would be something that's a little bit of a richer deeper type of scent and i feel like in comparison to the unforgivable i do feel like this is a little bit more um this is a little bit more like a nighttime scent not that you can't wear it during the daytime but i feel like the notes make it a little bit like a richer a little bit warmer a little bit more of a seductive type of scent in terms of what it smells like when you spray it i will spray i've already done this already obviously but i'm just gonna spray it so you guys can see what it looks like so it's like a fine little mist i do love the way that it actually smells in the opening it gives you kind of like a, a mild spicy type of opening it's still very sweet you still get a little bit of like the citrus notes in it it smells a little bit like it has kind of like a green woody type of note which makes sense because this obviously has cardamom and it also has vetiver in it as well and i absolutely love when cardamom is in fragrances just like taco bean i feel like it just becomes the longer it lasts on your skin it just becomes a more aromatic it becomes sweet and spicy and warm and cozy and it's a little bit sexier and more masculine when you have notes like taco bean and cardamom and things like that but like i mentioned this one specifically has cardamom in it on the skin it definitely gets a little bit more warm and spicy as it dries down on your skin but it still gets warm and spicy without losing its like fresh wearable type of element so i do really enjoy that about it as well this one in comparison i feel like well i mean they both kind of sit pretty close to the skin but i do feel like this one definitely sits a little bit closer to the skin which i still feel like is great because it's a very captivating a little bit more of a romantic type of scent the longer that it dries down on your skin the, the cardamom definitely becomes a lot more prominent as it continues to dry down on your skin the only thing that i will say is that it doesn't last on the skin as long as i would prefer i feel like with this you definitely get more of like maybe three hours maybe four hours if you're lucky um, so you do have to 
to spray a little bit more of this and you have to spray it a little bit closer to the skin don't spray it too far to where it's just the mist because it's not going to last on the skin but if you pray, uh, spray it close enough and you spray a little bit more you may get a little bit more in terms of like longevity but it doesn't last as long as i would prefer for this fragrance too but i mean it kind of makes sense just because it's so cheap and affordable but at the same time i just wish that it lasted a little bit longer because it is a really really great scent the only thing that i can tell you and this is kind of like a disclaimer and it might just be me but i feel like sometimes the woody notes in this kind of smell like sharpened pencil shavings i don't know if that's weird to say but sometimes it does give me that type of vibe but it's still very sexy and seductive and still very romantic and as i mentioned it could still work as a signature scent for someone for everyday use but sometimes the woody notes i don't know what it is i don't know if it's maybe like a lotion i had on prior to it when i tested it out but sometimes when it just dries the longer it dries down the woody notes kind of give me that type of vibe so i hope that that doesn't turn you off from this because it's still a great scent but that's just the vibe that I get sometimes, which is really weird. But just to kind of compare the both of them again, as I mentioned, they both have a very nice fresh element to it. These are both very wearable. You can wear these pretty much year round. They're not offensive, not overly complex scents at all. They're very inexpensive fragrances. You can find them at most stores. As I mentioned, it may be a lot easier for you to find this at like Ross, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx, but this one you may end up having to purchase it online, but the accessibility is pretty much even across the board. In terms of which one that I would recommend, I feel like even though these are both really great fragrances for like pretty much year round, I feel like both of them give or serve different purposes. I feel like this would be kind of like an everyday scent that trends transitions easily and beautifully from day to night even if you're trying to do date night but I feel like for date night this is not going to smell too unique it smells like a very traditional soapy um, type of scent but I feel like this one is a little bit better in terms of like the romance and date night and things like that the only thing is that they both do sit pretty close to the skin the Jay-Z gold sits a lot closer and lasts a lot less on the skin so for that reason I feel like you know but this one i feel like it still sits pretty close to the skin but it does project a little bit more it gives you a nice little scent bubble so people will smell you and it's still a very intoxicating scent so if i had to choose if i had to recommend one of them to you i would honestly have to say sean john's unforgivable will definitely win and it doesn't change the fact that the jay-z gold smells amazing but i just feel like this one has more plus to me so as i mentioned if you are looking for something that's very easy to wear not an overly complex scent if you're looking for something that's very non-offensive something that you can wear from day to night whether you are running errands going to work trying to go on date night trying to go to church wherever you're trying to use this fragrance for you can definitely wear this in the opening it's a very kind of like a little bit of a basic citrus type of opening but when it starts to dry down on your skin you will get more of a warmer cozier a little bit more of a seductive type of element to it which makes it a lot more captivating a little bit more masculine and very intoxicating especially for date night as well so this is going to be the one that i would choose if you are looking to purchase one or the other especially because it does also last a lot longer on the skin as i mentioned before so now that i've shared with you guys my thoughts on both of these fragrances and which one i would actually recommend to you let me know down below if you guys agree with me even if you don't agree with me let me know why you prefer one over the other i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on both of these fragrances as well of course if you guys enjoy fragrance videos and you love smelling good definitely make sure that you guys give me a big thumbs up and make sure that you guys join the family and hit that subscribe button as well thank you guys again so much for tuning into another video i hope you have an awesome day god willing i'll see you guys next time bye